for Tunbridge School. In recent months, there have been a growing number of sightings of wild boar living in the woods around Tunbridge. Nick has the story. Anne, can you tell us why there are boars in the southeast area? Certainly. Wild boar are a native animal to Britain, but about 700 years ago, we hunted them to extinction. They're good eating, and there are lots of artifacts you can use, their bones, their skins, and so on. So they disappeared from the English landscape, but they remained common on the continent. So we had 700 years without them, but in the 1960s, cheap foreign air travel meant that English people could go abroad on holiday, particularly to France, Italy, Spain, and so on, where wild boar are very common. And at that time, you could still go to local restaurants and eat wild boar, because on the continent, it is very common to harvest your woodland and eat wild animals. So English people came back from holiday with a great taste for wild boar and created a demand for it here. And so farmers diversified by importing wild boar to Britain and a lot of farms in the southeast started to turn over to wild boar. So this is how they arrived and of course some have escaped but most of them got out during the 1987 hurricane and disappeared into the woods and found the living to be very easy. If you're a person nearby, how would they affect you? You might hear them when they're, uh, certainly when they're arguing amongst themselves, you'll certainly hear a lot of shouting and even screaming. They make a, a great roaring sound when they get, when they get going. Um, you'd certainly notice the effect that they have on their surroundings. If you look here, you can see they use their noses like a plough. They literally plough up the woodland. They will plough up your pasture if you're a farmer, so you'll have no grass for your sheep. And if you have an open garden with no barricades, they'll do the same to your lawn. They're after all the grubs under your soil. So they will create a huge impression on the landscape. So where have recent sightings occurred? Most of the sightings are in West Kent and South West Kent and in Sussex. Um, it's an area where there's a lot of woodland. It's ideal habitat for them because they can hide away from people during the day. And this tends to be where they where they've concentrated. If you're a person who enjoys walking in the wood, what are the chances you will see one? The chances of seeing one are extremely slim. They're very shy. They have an acute sense of smell and fantastic hearing. So they're going to hear and smell you long before you arrive. During the day, they normally hide up in dense vegetation, so you're not going to see them unless you go walking right through deep bramble thickets. At night, this is when they come out. So to see them in the wild, you've got to be very quiet, you've got to be downwind, and you've also got to make sure that you are out sort of dawn and dusk. It's your only chance of actually seeing them. What you will see is the signs of their presence. Thank you for talking. That's all from the Tombridge School News team. We hope you have a great Easter. See you in the summer term.